again, I want to thank you for your letters and principles. They're a great help for small business people running their business. My question is, last year you said you had filters in your mind to help you quickly analyze businesses. How do your filters take into account the very fast changes of technology and the way that businesses communicate with their customers, take orders, things like that? Well, we do have filters, and some of those, some, sometimes those filters are very irritating to people who check in with us about businesses because we really can say in 10 seconds or so uh, no to 90 percent plus of all the things that come in simply because we have these filters. We have some filters in regard to people, too. Uh, but the, the question of technology is very simple. That doesn't make it through our filter. I mean, so if something comes in where there's a technological component uh, that's of significance or where we think the future technology could hurt the business as it presently exists, we look at, you know, we, we look at that as something to worry about. Uh, we will, uh, it won't make it through the filter. We, we want things that um, we can understand, which filters out a lot of things, and, and we want them to be good businesses and we want the people to be the people we're very comfortable with. That means it's ability and integrity. Um, and we can, we can do that very fast. We've, we've heard a lot of stories in our lives and, and, and uh, uh, it's amazing how they, uh, you can become quite efficient uh, in, in probably getting 95% of the ideas through in a very short period of time that should get through. Charlie? Yeah, we have to have an idea that is A, a good idea, and B, a good idea that we can understand. It's just that simple. And so those filters are, are filters against uh, consequences from, from our own lack of talent. Hmm. Fillers haven't changed much over the years either. 